Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Sulky, express yourself with sulky and create with confidence. Brother, it's so easy with brother at your side. And Quilt Cut, easy fabric cutting for quilters. Hi, and welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community. I'm Mary-Kate Carpetris, and Lori Baker, Quilters Newsletter's creative editor, is with us today. Hi, Lori. Hello. And you brought a lot of stuff with today. I did. Um, these are part of my pigs that I have at home, pigs standing for projects and grocery sacks, unfinished things that I've gotten stalled on for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. um, so first of all, I want to talk about how to get moving again. Mm -hmm. And part of it for all of us is coming up with time. Right. Um, I work well if I have rules and I can make rules for myself. So at one point in my life, I had a rule that I got up at 6.30 and I sewed until 7 and didn't do anything except oh, wow. sew and drink my coffee mm -hmm. until 7 o'clock. Life is different now. And uh, when I was getting ready for this episode, I realized that I'd only finished three projects in the last 10 months. That's kind of so, low for you. That's you, really you low. Are, Lori's a really fast and very prolific quilter. I tease a lot, but I mean, it's based in truth. You really do... Go, you really have a good output. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been doing a lot of new projects, which means that the old ones are still accumulating right. in the closet, taking up space and taking up my mental energy. So you're here today to give us all kind of a, a kick in the rear. That's right. Will, um, to talk about how you deal with it and some strategies for the rest of us to employ. Right. Um, to deal with our own projects in grocery sacks or whatever we store them in. But yes. They're all back there stuffed into our closet somewhere. And I, I, I only brought part of mine, but I kind of want to show you the evaluation process. Yeah. Okay, we've made a, a, I've made a rule. Now I am starting to sew no later than 8.30 at night and sewing for at least an hour. Okay. Um, but, you know, that may not work for you. That may not work for somebody mm -hmm. listening. You just need to figure out a way that you can make time. And you'd be amazed at what you can get done in 30 minutes. So as long as you're consistent. Exactly. Okay. And then you need to figure out why it went to the closet in the first place. Yeah. I have all of these different things here. And some of them went for the, to the closet for one reason and some for another. But they don't need to stay in the closet just because they're there. I have a couple that that I'm never going to I'm never going to do. You know this. I know that. I, I've looked at them. In fact, as I was getting ready, I thought, why did I save that? It says on it partial kit, so all the pieces are not there. It needs to go back in my stash. So you're going to break it down. You're just going to. You're not going to ditch the fabric per se or right. the, the little lace that's in right. there. You're going to just break it apart, let it be fresh, usable exactly. for some other project in the future. Okay. And this is another kit, um, except I've robbed fabric out of it. So all the pieces aren't here. And look at this. It's got some great yardage that's in it. That's a lot of fabric. That's a lot of fabric. Yeah. It needs to go back in my stash and I need to not have to worry about that unfinished project anymore. Because it gets stuck. Exactly. Going, what, am what am I going to do with that? And then there's this thing, and I used part of it. Oh my. So it's not a square anymore. It's got this big piece cut out of it, and I need to do something with that. I think it's going to become part of a back of a quilt. I'll cut down here and there. Mm -hmm. It became two usable mm -hmm. pieces instead of one very weird shape. Yeah, it is weird. Then there are fun things that I'd love to finish. This is just the beginning to a cool wall hanging. And this mm. pattern actually came from my grandmother. Nice. So, so that one pretty. needs to go in the, I want to finish this. And it's not too big a project. So on those times when I say, oh, I think I've got an hour, mm -hmm. maybe that's a good one. Okay. to work on. Do you have a set print area in your home for projects that are like in the on deck circle, you know? 
They're actually stored in paper cases in the closet in my sewing okay, room. Sacks to paper cases. Okay. And there are three paper cases. All right. So, but at least you have a place, and you know you're committed. Yes. For at least for now. If they still sit there for a couple of years, maybe you'll reevaluate again. Right. Okay. Oh, absolutely. And then there are always things like this. This was uh, uh, to demonstrate how to do binding. Well, I mm. don't travel and teach anymore, so. So why don't I spend the hour required and finish this? And then it would just be done. And then it would be done and not taking up space. This one's another one. This the is all, reason, oh my gosh, it just from the bag I was thinking this was a finished quilt, but it's not. The reason it got stalled is that I didn't piece it mm -hmm. and it's not pieced very accurately. Uh -huh. I don't like the colors. So uh, it just kind of kept getting shoved to one side. And when I got uh, a mid-arm quilting machine not too many years ago, mm -hmm. I decided this was the perfect place to practice because I didn't particularly care about this quilt. Stakes were low. And sure enough, it was my first project and the quilting is barely adequate. Okay. However, here's one of these where um, it's never going on the bed in my home, but it would keep somebody warm. Yeah. I need to finish this. It's all it needs is the binding. Again, it's all quilted. It's, it's all quilted. It'll take me an hour, maybe an hour and a half to finish this. And then it's a great thing to donate. Yeah. I don't have to keep my pigs. I can give them away. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like pigs. That's you right. Never know. And they what, may not know that it was once a pig. They just, see it right. as a, they just see it as a finished quilt. Exactly. And they don't know what your misgivings were about it. They don't know that you're not crazy about those colors or you're not crazy about the quilting. It's just, it's a quilt. It's a quilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I always have one bag that is orphan blocks. Okay. And this is going to stay there forever because when I start working uh, particularly on pieced backs, mm -hmm. the first thing I do is go through my orphan blocks and say, oh, is this the right color? And and lots of times I do find something well, in this machine embroidery is such a nice touch on a pieced back. Yes, it Unexpected is. It's, and... it's fun. Mm -hmm. So that's a rotating bag. Yes, things that one in, always and stays. Come out, and that that's just never gonna be Correct. emptied. Correct. It's always there. Mm -hmm. This one is a fun project that we did for Quilter's newsletter, and it was. A cute oh, yeah. little Santa Claus yeah. uh, applique pillowcase. I need to get it done and give it to somebody because I have grandchildren that would think that was wonderful. Yeah, you made, we made one version, or you made one version for the actual issue, our best Christmas quilt Correct. issue from Correct. 2013. Um, but you had more to go and you right. started maybe a couple of other samples and yeah, and, be and, and there they got there stalled. But that's another keeper, and it's not going to take very long, so that one would be a good one to be near the top of the pile. Mm -hmm. When I get ready to do pigs, I, I kind of decide on one of two bases. Either how much time do I have or how much room is it taking up. This year I started the year concentrating on how much room it was taking up. So I started on the bigger projects, mm -hmm. and sometimes those take longer. Yeah. And then I've got several of these that this is a completed quilt top for a wall hanging. And it simply needs to be put together and quilted. And, and for me, something this size to quilt is a half a day project. Yeah. So um, make time and make it work. And then what will you do with the wall hanging? This one, or? this one is one that was a challenge quilt that my daughter-in-law and my mother and I worked on. Oh, so fun. this one's going on the wall in my home. Because it's special. Because it's special. Mm -hmm. But then there are a couple. This one is, is a finished quilt top. And it's simply, it, it's just a, a donation or a play on the floor for the grandkids kind mm -hmm. of thing. But again, it's only a half a day if if I just do it. Right. Same thing with this one. It started out as a sample and I put two or three sets of the samples together and just um, made this little tiny thing. I can oh. picture the granddaughter thinking that's a wonderful little drag around the house with her. 
kind so of thing. So what will you do? Because I see there's, there's like this partial lining. And there. I'm going to ignore that. Okay. And I'm just going to. So you're not going to worry. You're not going to let yourself get hung up on the edge. You're like, oh, I've got to unpick all of that no. surge, the surging stitches. No. And you're just going to. I'm just going to ignore it that. Take on its own and, merits mm -hmm. and, and just finish it up. Yeah. Okay. I'm not making something to try to win a grand prize at one of the quilt shows. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying mm -hmm. to get something usable for somebody. Um, so and sometimes. something mental that we get in the way. Like, exactly. Oh, you know, uh, those, those. You know, the, the seams don't match, and I can't put on borders until the seams of the blocks right. match up, so I've got to unpick and all this stuff. So if it's really important to you, go ahead and do it. But you know what? Maybe not. A lot of them aren't. Yeah. Um, a lot of them, well, I, because I'm a perfectionist, I have a tendency to think that everything has to be perfect, and it doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, uh, even, even our family, if we make something and the corners don't match, they don't care. No. We made it, and it's special for them just because we made it. Mm -hmm. This one's just a little simple table runner. Be a, a great it's little... really sweet. Isn't it yeah. sweet? A lot of people would love that. A lot of people would love that, and it's a table runner. Time to finish that is minimal. Yeah. Then these at the back of the table are things that I started cut out to check measurements okay. in writing a pattern. I see. And so then I have stuff. Oh my goodness. This is, this is a big project. It this is, is an entire yeah. quilt and I have to sew all of these dozens of pieces together. That's going to go near the bottom of the stack. But you still have decided that you want to pursue this. I do. I mean, all the patches are cut. Right. And it doesn't look like it's, you know, very difficult piecing. It's no. It's just the time. It's just the time. It's going to be pretty. Um, mm -hmm. But like I said, near the bottom of the stack because mm -hmm. that's going to take a while. This one's another one. This was in my mother-in-law's stash. These are old, old blocks printed ready to be appliqued. Wow. It's going to be gorgeous. But it's going to take forever. This is, yeah, this is, this is pretty early in the stages. It's, yes, um, yes. Very, very unfinished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that needs to go back in the box because I'm still interested. Mm -hmm. Now where will it go in the box? Will it go near the top or this near the one, bottom? This or? one will go near the bottom just because of the time involved. Uh, when I started this year and last year both, I wanted to, uh, to finish two projects a month. So I need to get busy. <laughs> so the things that are going to take a long time, here's another uh, big quilt. Okay. It's going to take a long time. When you put things at the bottom of the box, and then do you add, if you add other, are you adding other pigs throughout the course of the year so that the bottom of the box keeps getting... Staying at the bottom, it stays at the bottom, or do you add projects to the bottom of the stacks so that things move up? I've been trying really, really hard not to make new pigs. Um, Which, in and of itself, is a really good goal for a exactly. lot of Exactly, but sometimes it happens. So, um, probably uh, the honest answer would be it's going to go on top of the box until the next time I sort through. Okay, well, let's talk about some of the things that you have completed and talk about what it took for you to get over that hump you know, and make you decide to finish it and what choices you had to make. Exactly. Okay. So this one was, um, I, was I was playing with fabric um, from one of our fabric grabs. I wanted to play with, with the uh, quilting in the straight lines, I echoing the... And besides that, the apartment window in my apartment was very cold, so I was going to make it to cover the window. And then winter got over. Your incentive was gone. And my incentive was gone, and it got shoved to one side. Mm -hmm. Well, in the meantime, we moved to a different apartment, doesn't have a window that size, and I was looking at it, and I thought, I just need to finish it the size it is. How far along was it at that point? It was to the point that, that to make it fit the window, I needed to add four more inches to one border. To one border? One okay. border. So all I did was cut back to a finished spot, and bound it. It took less than an hour. The pillow was one that I just decided, uh, this one based on space, I had these uncovered pillow forms, mm -hmm. so I just made a, a real quick little cover. 
Again, it took half a day. This one is a way worse story than that. This is I, one I've seen before. Yes. And you, and you blogged about this. Yes. So. It was in my unfinished stack of work for at least 13 years. Wow. Which um, is a really long time for you. Which is a really long time. And it was because there were all of these tiny little pieces. Yeah. I mean, lots and lots of pieces. Um, and finally, just again, based on space, I said, I need to get this finished. Mm -hmm. So I did, and, and it's and one of my favorites. You had you the top piece, or no, you already had it bound and stuff. Not bound, I'm mean, basted? It was quilted. It was quilted, that's mm -hmm. right. Okay, so you didn't have too much more to do, so. Yeah. Well, this is great. Thank you so much for offering us this insight into your process and and um, what, a, what a real quilter is like, and that, you know, even those of us who are really prolific, those of you who are really prolific still have our own hurdles to get yes. over and um, to get finished with the projects that we want to finish and don't feel bad about the projects that you don't want to finish. That's, what That's exactly right. As well. well, this is great. We hope that this inspired you and we'd love to hear about any pigs that you might finish as a result of watching this episode. Um, take care and we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Quilters Newsletter TV, the quilters community is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Selkie, express yourself with Selkie and create with confidence. Brother, it's so easy with Brother at your side. And Quilt Cut, easy fabric cutting for quilters.